Adding atmosphere is often one step that producers overlook, but it's essential for creating space and depth into music. One useful way of achieving this is through creative reverb techniques, which is simply modulating reverb to create something musical. And today I'm going to be demonstrating this technique using Cable Guy's Shaperbox 3 with their new reverb effect. If you're interested to learn more, check the link down below. All right, without further ado, let's dive in. All right, here's a minimal drum and bass track I started. The drum break is from the Acid Lab sample pack. And I made these really gnarly wub bass sounds from the new synth called Current. 300 likes and I'll show you guys how I made these bass sounds. All right, let's talk about adding atmosphere over the track, which will add a lot more emotion over the drums and a bass. So here's a stab sample. Now here's Shaper Box with the new reverb effect. Now what I love about this effect is that there are tons of reverb characters here from standard hall and caverns to really textured sounds. I really love the modern wall of sound preset, which is great for making pads, but there's just tons of different sounds here. We'll just cycle through a bunch here. These filtered weird ones are kind of interesting. I add some kind of character and rhythm. This direct spring is interesting. I imagine these gated ones would be nice for vocals or even drum sounds. These slapped ones are nice. I imagine these would be great for stab samples as well. Now we're gonna use the stab sample to actually create a bed of sound or kind of like a pad or atmospheric sample. So I'm gonna use the wall of sound which creates a long reverb tail, perfect for an atmospheric bed. Now, if you wanna omit the stab sound and only have that atmospheric, to just increase the dry wet all the way to 100% wet. And just like that, you have an atmospheric ambient sound over your track. Now you can play with the various parameters. We can adjust the size and stereo width. I like this filter section here, which allows us to adjust the tone of the reverb. So essentially you can play descent over the track for a long drone. And oftentimes you hear this in minimal drum and bass and even other styles of music. It just creates a space around the music for the listener to enter into. All right, let's try the same thing. This time we're using a vocal sample, adding Shaper Boss's reverb. Once again, we have this really long tail using the wall of sound. Now here's the really powerful thing with uh, reverb in Shaper Boxes. You can actually modulate and manipulate the reverb tail using this uh, LFO envelope. So our pattern here is one bar. Essentially what you can do is create rhythmic pumping for the reverb tail. And this creates some really musical effects to the reverb. So what we can do is use any of the dials here. For example, we can choose this one and we can draw like a shape like this, kind of to match the vibe of the track. And we can hear that with the drums. Now I like to fine tune the shape. You can adjust to make it curved. This just makes the sound a little tighter and more finessed. Of course, you can turn on the uh, snap the grid here for more precise shape. Essentially what it's doing is, is modulating the volume parameter here. Notice if you increase the volume, it increase the bottom point. Here's another shape you can play with. Of course, remember if you just want the reverb tail without the sample, then increase the dry wet to 100. 
Another interesting use of this is to slowly increase the reverb tail. So instead of one bar, let's use two bars this time. And I'm gonna use the straight line. So what's gonna happen is the reverb will gently slide in as the track progresses. Now you can play with other links as well, but we'll start with two bars and let's bring, that, bring it back to 100% dry and wet. Notice the pleasant effect that has. It creates a movement as the track progresses. Let's try four bars. As you can imagine, you can use this technique to create some really interesting riser sounds at the end of a phrase. You can even make this perhaps eight or 16 bars to really accentuate that movement to the end of of the 16 bar block. And then at the very end of that eight, there could be a change in the music. So using this, it could be used for movement as well as kind of a uh, homemade riser. Now I'm gonna show you a really useful function of uh, Shaperbox's reverb, especially when you have musical sounds such as stabs or melodies. So here's the stab sample I'm playing where I'm playing two completely different notes. So oftentimes when we drown these musical notes with reverb, the reverb tail from one note will overlap with the reverb tail of the next note. That might create some unpleasant dissonance with the two notes overlapping. I'll show you what I mean. So here the stab sounds reverb. Notice how the long reverb tails are overlapping each other from each note. It just makes it sound kind of dissonant and messy. To make it more clean, what we can do is modulate the reverb tail and make it go zero when the note ends. Here's a quick way to do it. So what I have is an envelope where the reverb tail goes to uh, not or nothing at uh, the end of note, the note, and then it starts back up and you get a visual representation of the sound here. Now the reverb tails are still overlapping, but here's the trick. Enable clear tails here. Now every time the envelope reaches the bottom here, it's gonna clear the tail. Much cleaner. Now if you want the reverb to extend all the way to the next note, what you can do is add an additional point here and just drag it all the way up like that. You can even use the curve here, move this all the way up so you get volume all the way to the end of that note. Much cleaner reverb and better results in the end. Now here's a really useful trick with uh, Shaperbox's reverb. Using it on drums and selective drum hits. This is especially useful when you have a drum break and you wanna selectively add reverb to specific hits. So not only can you modulate the volume parameter of the envelope, but the send parameter here has a exclusive envelope here as well. So what we can do is selectively choose the areas we want to send sound into Shaperbox's reverb. So here's the drums on its own. And once again, the break is from the Acid Lab sample pack. And we can click on the send here and simply we can choose one of these shapes here. We'll use uh, this shape here, which matches up with the snare. It's actually we're telling Shaperbox to send information into the reverb when the snare hits, which is usually at the quarter note over here and this note here. And this is a cool way to create new snare sounds or even affect the snare sound. So I've chosen this reverb called Res It, which kind of creates this nice kind of clangy reverb. You can play with the dry wet to adjust the sound. Let's try a couple others. I'm really liking this res it. It sounds really great with a snare. 
Now that sounds really nice and resonant with that uh, reverb on the snare, but however, you may not want that resonance to trail for so long. So now we can go into the volume parameter and adjust the uh, volume of the tail. So we can simply choose the shape here. And notice now the tail is shortened simply with this envelope. We can play around with it, adjust the taste. For example, you may want this to trail a bit longer. Or you can make this one shorter. To really pronounce it, we can choose one of the bigger reverbs. For this one, you may want to reduce the wet. And we may want to employ the clear tails. As you notice, the reverb was repeating because the tail was so long, even when the snare stopped playing. So make sure clear tails is enabled. So as you can see with this trick, you can create completely brand new snares, even if the snares within a breakbeat. So that's really useful, especially if you love using uh, breakbeats as audio. You can now process specific hits and kind of change the sound of it using Shaperbox. Now going back into the snare with the send where we uh, only send the reverb to the snare hits over here. We go back into the volume. If we choose a longer envelope time, such as eight or 16 bars, we can repeat that trick where we create risers. This time we're using the snare hits to create a riser. This time make sure clear tails is disabled because we want the reverb to continue as the snare hits. And watch what you can do with this effect. And there you have a riser. Now you may not want it as loud, so you can just adjust the wet to bring it down a bit. I also found these really cool shape presets that are useful for risers like this. For example, let's try it like that. So that's really interesting. You can create some interesting sounds using the reverb function of Shaperbox. Now let's go back to the atmospheric sound that we made earlier. Now the power of Shaperbox is not only do you have reverb, you have additional shapers such as adding noise, bit reduction, filtering, and even overdrive and distortion. So what happens when we add additional effects into this chain? Let's check it out. <laughs> So let's add a noise layer on top. And then let's add some bit reduction. And then we're gonna add a flanger. Now the flanger gets really interesting when you play with these different shapes. Now that gets really interesting. And notice how I said flanger for all of those that love it when I say that. Finally, let's add some drive to it. Now things are getting really crazy. Let's add it over the drum beat. <laughs> Finally, we can add a filter sweep or even an LFO filter on top. And this is all done within Shaperbox using the reverb tool first and then affecting the reverb with additional shapers. Really awesome things you can do with Shaperbox 3. So if you're interested in learning more about Cable Guy Shaperbox 3, which includes Reverb and their latest update, then you can find out more down in the links below. And for those who have Shaperbox 3 already, you can grab Reverb for a small upgrade. So hopefully you can see the benefit of using creative Reverb in your tracks. We first started off creating a wall of sound or pad or atmospherics using super long Reverb tails, especially 
received the one called Wall of Sound in Shaper Boxes Reverb. And then we got into modulating the reverb tail using Shaper Boxes Envelope, which you can create some really dynamic shapes that pump along with your music for something more rhythmic and musical. We also learned how to make riser sounds with super long reverb tails as well. Finally, we went into the drum track and tried modulating the reverb to match the sound of the snare. So thereby creating almost like new snare sounds within the breakbeat. And this is a very powerful technique to affect the drums when you're limited within the sounds of the breakbeat. Of course, there's tons more you can do when you add additional effects uh, using Shaperbox 3. And I encourage you guys to experiment and try new things with this tool. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me use creative reverb techniques to add atmosphere and depth as well as dynamic to my track. It's really interesting when you start using long reverb tails over sounds such as vocals and stabs and then creatively modulating the volume of the reverb tail. Not only that, when you start playing with drum hits such as snares, you can create new snare sounds simply by modulating the reverb in tandem with the snare. And remember, these are all concepts here and you can try replicating it with your own preferred reverb effect. However, if you want to try Shaperbox 3's reverb, make sure you check the link down below. And if you want to support this channel, I have a number of preset packs, sample packs, and Ableton kits to help you along your journey. You can learn more down in the links below. Finally, my name is Stranger. If you want to improve your music production, especially with dance music and drum and bass, this channel is for you. Help me reach 100K subs by hitting the subscribe button. If you want to see more sound design videos, check this playlist up here. And if you want to see more Amen and Jungle videos, see this playlist up here. All right, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Keep practicing. I'll see you at the next video.